Hi, this is Alex Bushlani Shani and Tech Digest here at Mac World Expo, and we're about to get a really good introduction and demo to the brand new Office for Mac 2008 software. I'm here with Eric. Hi. And Amanda, who are going to take us through the program. So Great. So, um, thanks for coming. And I was just going to start with an overview of the product and a couple of the themes that uh, we really rallied around uh, as we were designing and building and, and shipping it. The, the big overriding theme for Office 2008 is to simplify your work. Um, uh, and, and to get that done, um, we invested in a couple of major areas. The first and most obvious is a brand new user experience. Um, and this is about an elegant Mac-like look. Um, and it's also about making the product more discoverable and more usable. So there was a lot of power in Office that uh, customers didn't really know was there um, because it wasn't easy to find it. So we've really focused on bringing some of that power forward um, and making it easy to, to figure out and to use. Um, the next big area uh, is in features that grow with you. So we have a wide spectrum of customers. The, the, the thing in common about all of our customers is that they choose to spend their time on Mac. And they choose to use Office. Um, but that it goes from home users to small businesses to the largest enterprise organizations. Um, and with all different levels of familiarity uh, across the suite. So we've tried to design features that give you great results if uh, you only you know, want to dive in just a little bit and take a few clicks. Um, and also can uh, grow with you as you discover the full power of Office um, to deliver something that's exactly what you'd want. So the third theme following right on that is professional looking output. Right, everybody on the Mac across all spectrums really cares about what comes out at the end because it represents them. And so focused on the things in Office that help make your work um, you know, look as good as you'd, you'd hope it to. And then the fourth theme underlying all of everything we do, and really underlying everything we've done for the last 10 years as the Mac business unit, uh, is compatibility. So this is reliable compatibility with Office 2007 for Windows. Um, we use the same file format, uh, open XML files. Uh, we uh, have the, the same new graphics engine, the Office Art graphics engine. Um, so that any graphics you build in Office for Mac or in Office for Windows can go back and forth can edit on, on either platform, um, and you know, a file is a file, a connection to Exchange Server as well. You know, compatibility is really a key point for all of our uh, all of our customers. I think that's what we're driving people back towards next. Of course, is the idea that now things are so compatible that it almost doesn't make a difference, which you use. So. Yeah, certainly if you're using Office, we, we try to, yeah. <laughs> to, to get to that point. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so, my job every day, I, I manage the, the engineering team in Mountain View, California, that, that builds uh, a good chunk of office for the Mac. We work with teams in Redmond uh, and in Beijing and the Tokyo and Dublin. Uh, so a lot of people around the world been working really hard on getting this thing right. Um, you know, we're pretty excited about it. It'll be available tomorrow. I think I forgot to say the most obvious thing. It's a universal binary. <laughs> so, <laughs> Runs uh, natively on your Intel Mac, um, faster than ever on your Intel Mac. It also runs on PowerPC, works with Leopard and Tiger. Uh, so we're pretty excited. And Amanda is going to take us on a. It's nice. I've not seen this at all yet. You so. have to. I've got this on Mac sitting at home waiting to use this one. So. <laughs> so the first thing I'll show you here is just really, it's my day, which is part of Entourage. I personally spend a ton of time on Entourage. It's all about managing mail and that kind of thing. My Day is a tool that really sits outside of Entourage, actually, it's a standalone tool. It allows you to really manage the things that are at the top of your items, you know, your to-do list. So, what's coming up next today on your events? What, what are the tasks that you need to get done today that you've prior to prioritized on your own? Um, so, it's really nice. It's actually, you know, communicates with Entourage, so it updates automatically. You can quickly add in a, a task right here, and it updates it here, and you can also check off ta tasks. So it's a nice way to, even when you're not in an office, to manage what you're working on. If you're browsing the web, if you're doing some research or working on an application, it's a great place to do that. But if you, and it's about simplification, just serving up the simple things that you need right now instead of having a massive amount of things. But if you do need the full power of Entourage, it's really easy to get there. Just click on the icon and it pulls up Entourage for you. So if you need to go manage your mail, take a look at your calendar, you can do all that from there. And it's really simple to also get rid of um, my day, it's just a keystroke there and uh, you can get rid of it or pull up. 
So starting in my or in entourage because that really is where a lot of us live, probably. Right? Um, we have updated the new UI here, a new user experience. It's really quite simple, and pretty familiar experience for a Mac user. Um, so it's uh, uh, really streamlined and simplified. So we don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to hit the high points of what I think is really fun. Um, one thing in Entourage 2008 is that we're taking advantage of Spotlight Search within within the OS. So it's really easy for me to, to find what I'm looking for within the application. Um, and then coupled with the new favorites bar right here, this is a favorites bar. So it's really easy for me to identify what are the number one things that I want to keep track of. Anything that's a folder can be dropped into, into the favorites bar. So I'm going to actually create my own search search here. Um, so I'm going to search team within here and automatically you can see how quickly that pulled it up. And then I can save that search. Call it team items or something like that. And then save it. And it'll drop down into my mail view. And I can just drag it up here. So you can see how handy that would be for a manager who has right. anything to do with their team. I personally use it for anything from my own manager. So if I've got an invite from her, if I've got a mail from her, it's prioritized on the top of my list. So that's personally one of the things I'm finding to be really great about Entourage. And then also we've got uh, some new calendar stuff that we've done. You can see that it's all color-coded here by category, so it's a nice way to get a quick glance of what's what's what on your calendar. Um, you can also, one of the really interesting things you'll see here is that we've allowed, made it possible to see what your travel time is. So sometimes you have an appointment somewhere else, but you're not thinking how much time it's going to take there, you can see this little highlight here on either end of this doctor's appointment. You can say, oh, actually, I know I need to, to travel. So you can book, book that into your appointment when you're doing the UI, uh, within the UI. And, or you can just do a quick drag out of a new event here, too. That's a new thing for our project. So really easy way to manage your calendar for everybody. Um, another thing I'll call out for other users, I don't know if you have uh, corporate users, but we have done a lot of investment in increasing the, the connections and the reliability of the mm -hmm. connection with Exchange. So a lot of investment there, especially around calendaring and the database. It's a, it's really improved the reliability and the ease of rebuilding a database as well. So that's something I know. I mean, some of my friends are sort of system admins mm -hmm. trying to get Macs being used, but having problems with server issues. So that's something that they're definitely right. So you'll see at. those those people will see a real big improvement. Absolutely. We personally are using it internally, and it's been a great leap forward for us in the experience. So that's really the high points of Entourage that I would call out. Um, the next place that I also spend a lot of time is in Word. So, um, yeah, this is my area. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. So, yeah, you and I probably time. are similar <laughs> in that sense. Um, you're probably familiar with the idea of Word that it's you know just a play. You've got a tech flow of text. But we also have a set of customers that are using Word for layout type um, documents, like a brochure or a newsletter or something like that. Uh, and that's what the publishing layout is all about. So it's a view within Word, mm -hmm. and it's really got just some kind of layout tools in, in, built in. And I should just point out here as well, Eric mentioned new UI elements. We have a new elements gallery, and across the application you'll see things, this, this little tab view here. And whenever you do a drop down of it, it provides you some nice, like, nice visual cues of the result and what you're looking for. And publishing layout, we have loads and loads of really beautiful, professionally designed templates. You can also start from scratch, but for the idea of something that something that will grow with you, if you're a new user or not a good, like a strong word user, there's stuff there for you to do. But if you have that capability, you can also start from scratch and create your own. But for right now, I'll just uh, minimize that and show you some of the new stuff in the publishing layout view. Again, it's you know a layout-rich document is different, and it's got a little bit more images and things like that. Um, so you can see right here that there are some images being served up here, and this is the, the toolbar. We've combined a couple of palettes that we previously had in one toolbox, sure. um, so you can take a look at all these different little tabs within here. Um, what I'm looking at right now is the object palette, and within the object palette there are several things to choose from, but one thing I'll have right here is the iPhoto integration. This is actually drawing upon your iPhoto photo. I wondered if that was going to come into it. Yeah, so it's really handy if you're already managing your photos here and you're using media quite a lot in your, in your um, office work. It's really easy to just drag and drop something. For, so this is a placeholder image here. Mm -hmm. I can preview it here and just and, or drop it in. You can see it applies the pre-existing effect, so it's got a, a rotation and an angle there. Anything I drop in there will, be, will do that for me. So that's all pre-done for me, which is really nice. 
Um, another nice thing about the publishing layout view is the ability for you to manage your text flow. And that's a very different thing when you're working with Word on a, in a text space, it just flows down. However, when you're working on a newsletter, you want to be able to create columns and things like that. So, for example, I'm going to change that bit of text into two columns. And it, you can see those little dynamic guides popping up there. It gives you, it's giving a suggestion for you of a natural break to kind of based on your layout. But you see this little uh, badge here that says A. It indicates to me that there is additional text or overflow text. Right. Um, so I can just click on this badge here and then drag out a new box. And it will flow it in there for me. And again, those dynamic guides are telling me some nice places to drop it into. But you can, and it's, it's, Super simple for somebody. I'm not a designer, but it's super simple. And then even another nice thing, you'll see this pasteboard on the side here. You know, it's kind of a, something that a, a publishing publishing type person would know that you mm -hmm. have this workspace on the side, and I can drag out this text here for myself so that I can place it, you know, later on in the document. Sure. So that's a nice thing there. So that's uh, one of the big things in Word that you'll see, which I think is quite interesting. Um, and uh, 